In this video, let's have a look at the last type of the random walk, which is going to be a random walk with trend. And we're going to see the contrast between this one and the previous one where we had it with a drift. So recall that when we discussed about the drift, what we were referring to is that there is a tendency of sales in this case to increase, but not with a defined, with a deterministic trend, so to speak. Now, in our case, we're drawing almost a line. So almost a line of sales across time, meaning it's a linear upward trend. It is pretty defined. There's no deviations of it. Uh, or around it, so to speak, and we're including we're including it in the model. So we're having the same model like with the drift. We're using the constant to predict, to uh, to to show that upward tendency, and we're using we're using a dummy variable for the trend to show the effect of the trend on the future values of sales. So the trend is going to take the value of one if we have a trend and zero if we don't. And gamma is going to be a certain slope coefficient. And because this is a positive upward trend, that would be a positive value. Let's say just for the sake of the example, 1.4, right? So uh, the trend is going to have a unit effect of 1.4 in the future value. Now, uh, how do we reason it? Well, the idea is this. We're still having, we're still having random effects uh, on sales, meaning that the effect of sales in the previous period on the current period is non-existent because we're having the same we're having the same values of sales in the previous period and in the future period the only difference is that in the future or across time so to speak as we can see on the graph as time passes by the sales the sales keep increasing so we account for that increase via the constant to show that upward tendency to increase sales across time and we showed the trend effect uh, and the best predictor for sales in the future is based on this constant and is based on the linear trend. And whatever deviations we have around it, whatever differences we're going to have of sales in the future that's not explained by these two additional factors is going to be explained by the error terms. So that's the highlight. We're still having that random walk, meaning that the slope coefficient here is equal to one, meaning that future values happen randomly, except that in this case, they do not happen completely randomly. They happen partly because we have a trend, partly because we have an upward tendency of sales to increase. And other than that, yeah, they do happen due to some specific factors, due to some um, random factors. That's the highlight. The most important thing here is to understand the distinction between the drift and the trend. They're very similar, but the difference is that in this case, the trend is specific, deterministic, so to speak, is defined upwardly. In the drift case, it's not. It's a random trend. It goes up, but not with a constant uh, slope, not with a constant motion. That's the idea. That's the highlight. In the next videos, we're going to start working on the tests to see if we have significant random walks and the solutions for that.